Kayla Brees. Stephen Hawking, the coolest and most famous modern theoretical physicist, once said, We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe, and that makes us special. Well, I say, are we really that special? Are we really the only humanoids or even life forms that understand such concepts? Within the field of astrobiology, which is the study of the origin, evolution, and future of life in the universe, there remains a hypothetical question about extraterrestrial life. However, no credible evidence has been generally accepted by the mainstream scientific community. Yet, two major hypotheses regarding the origin of extraterrestrial life, if it indeed exists, are one, that it may have emerged independently from different places in the universe, or two, what is called panspermia, that it emerged from one location and then spread between habitable planets. Forms of life could range from sapient or sentient beings to life at the scale of bacterium. Now, all life on Earth requires carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, uh, sulfur, phosphorus, as well as numerous other elements in smaller amounts, notably minerals, of which the magic combo is H2O. Water is the solvent in which biochemical reactions can take place. Sufficient quantities of carbon and the other major life-forming elements, along with water, could enable the formation of living organisms on other planets with a chemical makeup and average temperature similar to that of Earth. And because Earth and other planets are made up of the same kind of stardust, it is very probable that other planets may have been formed by elements of a similar composition to Earth's. Beliefs in extraterrestrial life were present in ancient India, Babylon, Assyria, Egypt, Arabia, China, and South America. Although in these societies, cosmology was often associated with the supernatural, and the notion of alien life was difficult to distinguish from that of uh, gods, demons, and monsters. The first important Western thinkers to argue for a universe full of other planets and therefore possible alien life was the ancient Greek writer Thales. Now, you could also find alien references throughout different faiths. The Jewish Talmud states that there are at least 18,000 other worlds. The Hindu scriptures note innumerable universes. And within Islam, the statement of the Quran, all praise belongs to God, Lord of all the worlds, indicates multiple universal bodies and even multiple universes. William Herschel, the discoverer of Uranus, was one of many 18th to 19th century astronomers who was convinced that our solar system, our solar system, and perhaps others, would be well populated by alien life. Other luminaries of that period who championed the concept of cosmic pluralism included Immanuel Kant and Benjamin Franklin. And at the height of the Enlightenment, even the sun and moon were considered candidates for extraterrestrial inhabitants. You could find beliefs and and notions and feelings for alien life from faith and from the great thinkers. My question to my fellow intellectuals is this. Do you think extraterrestrial life exists? Do you think we are close to finding it? And is it even something worth searching for? Personally, I believe 100% that extraterrestrial life exists. The question for me is not if it exists, but if it has indeed visited, or if we will ever encounter such an historic acquaintance. In order for us to meet and greet some aliens, we have to be at the same place at the same time, and the universe exemplifies immeasurable space and immeasurable time. Those are some pretty crazy odds. Who's to say our species and our planet will not eventually just get cooked by our ever-growing sun and then put Mars at a warmer temperature, thus igniting life there? You know, I would love to think we are closer to finding such evidence, as it would change the perception of the human species forever, and it may be a good reason to unite under a common goal, you know, further ex uh, space exploration, but I fear we are a long ways away from such a discovery and worry that I will miss out on such a momentous event. But regardless, I am positive that the pursuit of such a challenge is so worth it. 
Philip Morrison, an MIT physics professor, once wrote that the probability of success is difficult to estimate, but if we ever, ever choose not to search, the chance of success is zero. This is Caleb Brees. What do you know?